So another topic that is a heavy debated topic in the industry are DPFs. DPFs are somewhat viewed as a bad thing in a vehicle. In our opinion, they're actually a really good thing. Hopefully through this next segment, we're gonna explain some features and functions of a DPF and how it actually works correctly and how the RMAX ECU integrates with a DPF equipped vehicle. So here we have a DPF catalytic converter assembly out of a 70 series Land Cruiser. You will see at this point through the assembly is the catalytic converter and the second part is the diesel particulate filter. We also have a number of sensors fitted to the actual unit itself um, from factory. So we'll just go through what some of those actually are. This is a exhaust gas temperature sensor. This is fitted post turbo pre catalytic converter. Downstream, we have another exhaust gas temperature sensor fitted, which is post catalytic converter pre DPF. And down the very end here, we have a, another sensor, which is a third EGT or exhaust gas temperature sensor, which is post DPF. You'll also notice these two tubes here. You'll notice one tube is after the DPF and one tube is pre the DPF. What this actually does is monitor the differential pressure across the DPF. So when the DPF is empty, there's gonna be less um, pressure build up across the DPF. When the DPF fills up, there's gonna be more pressure increase. The ECU monitors this, the factory OE ECU monitors this, and what it does is it determines when regeneration is required. We also have a couple of additional sensors added here. So you'll notice we've, we've added an oxygen sensor or lambda sensor, and what that does is measures the air fuel ratio coming out of the engine. Air fuel ratio is how many parts of air do we have versus parts of fuel. So this is what we wanna know in R&D uh, when we're doing our tuning calibration work. We've also added the RMAX ECU exhaust gas temperature thermocouple. Now you might ask, why do we actually need to add another sensor when we've already got them fitted factory? There are different types of exhaust gas temperature sensors. Our one is actually a thermocouple and the factory sensors are thermistors. These operate differently. A thermocouple is much more durable, much more reliable than a thermistor and can read much, much higher temperatures. These thermistors are fitted to control the regeneration process accurately. They're not there to serve engine protection functions. If they were, we could actually use these with our RMAX ECU. And in some applications, we do actually use factory OE sensors where they're accurate enough to actually give us correct information. The control of these high temperatures is paramount to ensure that damage isn't occurred to pistons, blocks, turbochargers, DPFs, etc. A common thing in the industry is actually to remove a DPF. The problem with this is your car is illegal, it is not roadworthy, and it is uninsured. So with an RMAX ECU, you can have the best of both worlds. You have power, torque, and not have the issue that something is gonna go wrong with your DPF. When a tuning solution is installed into a vehicle, no matter what brand or product it actually is, the EGT or exhaust gas temperatures of the vehicle are increased. This is because the amount of fuel going into the diesel engine is increased. This adds extra performance, but the side effect is high EGT or exhaust gas temperatures. Hence why the RMAX ECU system has an EGT protection system as a standard feature.